Hello there. Welcome to bcping.com. This is Arun Nair. Today I'm going to show you how to power on your computer from a remote location using your Android device. That sounds cool, isn't it? Okay, so before we get started, let me tell you the prerequisites. Number one, you should have a broadband internet connection and your computer should be connected to the broadband router using the network cable. This will not work if your computer is uh, connected to the internet through Wi-Fi or USB modem. Number two, your motherboard should support Wake On LAN feature and it should be enabled from the BIOS settings. Uh, most of the motherboards do support Wake On LAN nowadays. However, I'm not going to show you how to enable this uh, in, in this video because the interface varies for each motherboard. Number three, though your computer will be in the shutdown state, it should still receive power from the power socket or uh, from the UPS. Okay, so let's get started. Step one, enable Wake On LAN on your network adapter. Now to do this, Go to Device Manager and right click on the appropriate network adapter, click Properties, go to Advanced, scroll down to the bottom, you will see Wake On Magic Packet, ensure that it's set to Enabled, then Wake On Pattern Match, ensure that it's set to Enabled. Click OK and close Device Manager. Step 2. Install this app called Wake On LAN on your Android phone. In order to do that, go to Google Play and search for Wake on LAN. Here it is. Alright, so I have already installed this app and that's why it shows installed. Step 3. Make a note of your MAC address and your ISP provided IP address. In order to do that, go to Start, push Windows R and type ncpa.cpl, hit Enter. Now, right click on the appropriate network adapter, go to Status, click Details, and you will see physical address. Make a note of that. To find your ISP provided IP address, go to this website called whatismyip.com and here you will get your ISP provided IP address. Step 4. Open the app on your Android phone and type in all the details. Reference will be uh, any name that you can give. So I'm going to give uh, it a studio computer and MAC address is the one that we made a note of. and IP address will be the IP address that we found on whatismyip.com and the port number should be either 7 or 9 so we can leave it as 9 click send wake packet and it should send a wake packet so so that is all it's required on your Android phone step 6 enable port forwarding on your broadband router to do that click start type cmd hit enter type IP config and you will see the first one which is 10.0.0.4 is your IP address and your default gateway is 10.0.0.1 now the default gateway is the IP address for your broadband router so open your browser type 10.0.0.1 hit enter and it will ask for the username and password type in the username and password click login now this page differs from uh, router to router let's say I have Netgear and in case if you have a, a D-Link or if you have a Linksys it, it changes however you will see an option called port forwarding here click there click add custom service type in the service name as WOL1 I mean you can type it anything I'm just uh, typing WL1 and enter the port number starting port as 7 ending port as 7 and type in the IP address of this computer this is not the IP address that you found on what is my IP.com that's the IP address that that your ISP is providing you however this is the IP address that is assigned by your broadband router and this IP is the one that you actually found here when you did IP config you just found this IP address 10.0.0.4 right so this is the IP address you need to enter here click apply again add custom service now add one more port which is port number nine wake on LAN usually works on these two ports port number seven and port number nine and type in the same IP address click apply alright so now that you have done with your router settings we can now check if uh, this is working so let's shut down my computer 
Okay, so let's see if this really works. I have this Wake on LAN app here and uh, when I open that I can see my computer and you can also see my desktop behind my phone. So I'm just going to push that. Let's see. Okay, that was pretty fast. Fantastic. All right, so that really works. Okay, so uh, this is all about uh, Wake on LAN app on Android which will help you to uh, boot your computer remotely. Uh, from your Android device. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel.